In this tutorial, I'll teach you how to add texts, images, videos, GIFs that follow the movement of a person or any element in your videos. And the best part is that you can do it for free from the color module. Let's get started. In this example, we'll add a text, a GIF, and a video next to the woman's head that follows the same movement. If you need a video clip to test and make this effect, I recommend downloading it from the website pexels.com. They have a lot of free stock videos that you can use. Okay, the first step is to place the playhead over our clip and head to the color module of DaVinci Resolve. Once inside the color module, we need to go to the tracker menu. In this menu, we will be able to track the head. In the top right corner, we will see three icons. These icons represent the modules of the tracker. By default, it is set to window mode. To make this effect, we need to select stabilizer mode. Perfect. Next, we click on these three dots and select classic stabilizer. In the classic stabilizer, we have two different types of tracking. Cloud tracker to add multiple tracking points on the person's face and point track to add a single tracking point. I recommend selecting cloud tracker mode. So in case some tracking point stops following the face's movement, we will have other support points that continue the tracking. Finally, before we start the motion tracking, we need to consider these boxes above. These boxes represent the movement we want to track. That is left to right movement, up and down movement, zoom, and rotation. For example, if we have rotation activated, the text we add later will also follow the rotation movement in case the person tilts their head. The same happens with zoom movement. If the head moves away or closer, the text will also become smaller or larger. That's why it's important to consider these options before doing the tracking. In my case, I only want to track the pan and tilt movement. Great, now we have everything set up. Let's start tracking the face movement. In this frame, the face is a bit blurry. So it's better if we look for another frame where the face can be better appreciated and looks sharper. For example, this frame here would work. Good, we'll start tracking from this frame. It's important to know in which frame we start tracking. I'll explain why later. Knowing at what moment of the video we're located is very easy. It indicates it here. We are currently at second 304. If we go back to the editing module, we can see that we are indeed located at 304. Remember at what time we're located, as it will be useful later. If we activate the interactive mode, we'll see that a lot of tracking points appear all over the video. We just want to track the face area. How can we track only the face? Very easy. We click on the insert icon and now select only the face part. We click left and select. Perfect. Next, we click on this icon to remove all tracking points, and then we click again on the insert icon so that it creates the tracking points only in the area we have selected. As you can see, now we only have the crosses in this area, which is the one we're interested in. Now that we've selected the area we want to track, to do the tracking, we have to press this icon with two arrows so it performs the motion tracking of the entire video. And DaVinci Resolve will do the tracking in a moment. It usually doesn't take long. Perfect, we've finished. As you can see, some tracking points couldn't follow the movement, but we have many others that could follow the face correctly, so there's no problem. Once we've completed all the tracking, we go back to the editing module of DaVinci Resolve. To add text that follows the movement of the head, we head to the Effects tab located in the top left corner. We click on the Titles section and search for Text or Text Plus. Then select the text effect and drag it to our timeline above our video. Next, we click on the edge of the text clip and adjust its duration to match the duration of the video of the woman jogging. Remember that I mentioned earlier 
that we need to remember at which moment we started tracking, now is the time to place the playhead at that specific point in the video, which in my case was at second 304. By doing this, we ensure that when we add the tracking information to the text, it appears correctly in the place where we put it. Lastly, we should customize the text to our liking and place it where we want. The final step would be to click on the clip and create a compound clip. This step is necessary. If you don't do it, you won't be able to add the tracking information to the text. Okay, in case we want to add text, simply creating a compound clip with text inside would suffice. But to make it a bit more eye-catching, I've prepared three clips to add to the video. Here we have them a GIF of a person running, a text clip, and a video with a stopwatch. Let's add these three elements so that all follow the movement of the face. The first step is to place the three elements correctly. First, I'm going to place the animated GIF of the person running. Secondly, I'll place the stopwatch. And lastly, the text with the date. Place the elements in the area where you want them to be. I want them to be on the right side next to the face. Important, first we need to place the elements and then create the compound clip. Don't do it the other way around. After having placed everything correctly, we simply select the three clips with the elements and create a compound clip. Perfect. Let's make this compound clip follow the movement of the face. We return to the color module and activate the clip menu so we can see the clips that we have on our timeline we must select the video in which we have done the motion tracking. What we're going to do now is to copy the tracking information that we did earlier and apply that data to the compound clip where we have the elements. In the compound clip, we also have to select the classic stabilizer, just as we did in the other video clip. Lastly, we deactivate the zoom checkbox and in the option of strong, we put the value minus 100 so that the tracking data is applied correctly. Once this is done, we click again on the three dots and now we can paste the tracking data. We click, great. As you can see, it has applied the same graph that we had in the other clip and all that's left is the final click. We click on stabilize. As we can see, the elements have been placed where we wanted and not only that, now, if we play the video, we see that indeed everything follows the same movement of the head. I hope you liked the video. If you want to learn more effects, check out this playlist with lots of free DaVinci Resolve tutorials. See you in the next video.